Uh, my name is Christian Knapp, and I am conductor at the Mariinsky Theater. André Chenier himself was actually a poet, a French poet who lived, uh, was a historic fi figure, an accurate figure, and the opera uh, encapsulates his uh, struggle with the French Revolution. And in fact, in the course of the opera, he, um, he is a poet, and he falls in love with Madalena, who comes from a noble family. There is another love interest, as there has to be in every opera, uh, the tenor and the baritone in conflict with each other. And the baritone, Gérald, comes from a lower class, a servant's family. He also is in love with Madalena, and there's this struggle which encapsulates the French Revolution between the aristocratic class and, of course, the poor and the, the servant class. Uh, Gérald initially, sort of uh, out of revenge, sets up Chénier, um, but he has a bit of a conversion himself uh, as he comes to sort of rethink that maybe the revolution represented by Robespierre is, is, is too extreme. And um, he tries to sort of retract his accusations of Chénier for being a, you know, a anti-revolutionary figure, uh, but doesn't succeed. In the Madalena's family has also been ruined by the revolution. And in the last, the very end of the opera, um, Madalena um, actually finds a way to sort of imprison herself to take the place of another noblewoman so that she can die together with André Chénier, who's been condemned to the guillotine by the revolution. So it's, it's all masked in that world. Musically, it's an uh, opera of the Verismo style. So very emotional, very much like Puccini, um, very coloristic, um, very in, in, intense emotional content and, uh, content and psychological content in this music. Oh, it's very interesting. It's extremely interesting. It's very dynamic. Um, it's actually not a long opera. I don't. I think it's around two hours and fifteen or twenty minutes. So, interestingly, in four acts. But nevertheless, a lot of things happen in the course of this two hours and twenty minutes. It's a very dynamic opera, and it enjoyed a lot of popularity, uh, particularly in the first half of the twentieth century. Great tenor role, particularly for singing, and so uh, Delmonico. Uh, Leonucci, lots of people were very interested in singing, in singing th this opera. Maybe it's a little bit less well known in the past, I don't know, say 10 or 20 years, and sort of not performed as often as one would like, but it was certainly very successful when it was first written. Oh, yeah, we have a very good cast for this. Um, uh, for example, um, we have uh, uh, Katya Sanikova and uh, Ahmed Agedi, who Ahmed sings a, f sings a fantastic job in uh, Puccini in general, whether it's La Fanchula del West or Manon Lasco. And uh, so we have some very strong, powerful voices that are very much experienced in this, particularly this Verismo style, which is a very unique style. It also is very demanding for the singers. It requires a lot of power and a lot of endurance, much more so in some ways than, uh, say, a slightly lighter opera by, say, Verdi or something of that nature. So we have some very powerful singers, indeed. There are, I mean, the, 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 a lot of it is focused on the tenor. And, for example, the tenor showing off his skill and his virtuosity. Um, but there, there is indeed also a baritone and a baritone aria that's very famous too. Um, again, I think the opera has unfortunately been played less, so I'm not quite sure that there will be something which will be immediately recognizable. But in terms of um, a set piece or set aria, uh, there are incredible moments, you would say hits, if you will, um, which are very appealing to the public. This is a very unique opportunity to hear a wonderful opera that had a lot of popularity, has maybe come in and out of style only because 
uh, the composer, perhaps Giordano, it's not the same familiar name like Puccini. Um, but nevertheless, uh, it is wonderfully powerful, wonderfully expressive. There's a very interesting story about, the, uh, it's an opera, so about love and death, but also about how that relates to the, to the uh, aspect of the French Revolution. In fact, I, I think one very poignant idea which changes the mind of Gerard, who was very much in support of the revolution, was, was when he realizes that the revolution is killing our poets. André Chenier was a poet. He finds that very tragic, that art is even suffering at the hands of this new political movement. So there's a lot to think about, and so I'd like to invite you to the, what we believe is the first performance of André Chenier in St. Petersburg, Russia, uh, here at the Mariinsky.